AGI32 version 15 has several new features that are big time savers. This is one of my favorites. You can now automatically specify a lighting power density area, LPD, and add calculation points to work plane or floor or other services when using any of the room creation tools. Let's have a look. Select one of the room commands. Notice in the bottom of the dialog we now have specify calculation points for room. This is checked by default. We also have automatically create LPD area. Go ahead and check that. If you check it once, the dialog will remember it during the session so you can have it for every room you create. Alright, let's go ahead and create the room. Wow, up pops the automatic placement calculation points dialog. All we have to do is click OK to accept the default of 2x2 two two spacing points centered. Or you can make changes. Points are there, and look at this. There's our lighting power density area label as well. Lighting power density is also shown over here in the statistics window. This is the summary. Let's create another. Let's change the LPD area settings. We have a settings button here. We actually have the line color of the LPD area right now locked in as the same color as the room. However, remove that check mark. We can actually change the color of the LPD area. We can also change the summary of the LPD area as well as other labeling functions. Let's change the font, for example. I like something really solid. Cooper Black. Change the size. We'll make it really large. All right, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and create our room. Up pops our calculation point dialog. We'll click OK. We've got our points. We've got our label with the revised font and size. And here it is again in the statistics window. We're all set to go. We can keep doing this over and over and over again. Let's take a look in isometric view. This way, you can actually see the LPD line color. It's different than the room color. However, when you look in plan, notice you see the LPD area color and not the room color. That may be a good reason to leave it checked as the same as the room. It's totally up to you. Do you want to change label or stat area display? You can do this by either editing an individual LPD area from the edit command, where you can clear the summary or change the labeling parameters, or you can change multiple occurrences using Project Manager. Go to Project Manager. Here's our lighting power density areas. We'll click here to select them both. From the right click menu, we have labeling. Select labeling. You can actually clear the labels right now, or you can change any of the details, and you can also control the summary status. So we can turn the summaries off. Take a preview. Notice the summaries in the statistics window are gone, as are the labels. Cancel, and everything's back. Do I hear cheering? Fantastic.